All right, everybody, this is Ross, and I want in this video to really accurately demonstrate why I believe rejuvenation pruning on our fig trees is so important and why it should become a main practice in your orchard and with your fig trees that you do every single year for every single tree. Now, what is rejuvenation pruning? Well, Pons, Montserrat Pons in his book, he's probably the most well-respected and the most knowledgeable fig grower, by the way, that's currently living. He wrote a book and in his book, um, it describes a technique called rejuvenation pruning. And he uses this technique on 30, 30 year old or older trees. Old trees that just need a little bit of an extra help that are starting to really slow down in the vigor department. They're really not becoming all that productive anymore. The age isn't really all that important. It's just the tree that really needs some assistance. And what he recommends with the technique is that you cut the tree all the way down to the soil line, even below the soil line, excavate some of that soil away from the root ball. And then actually over that season, after you do that, you'll end up getting these suckers that come up from the base and you can select the healthiest, the most vigorous sucker that comes up from the base and that will become the new main trunk of your tree, of your fig tree. You can even select three or four or five if you wanted, if you wanted to turn it into a bush. But this is just a really easy technique to rejuvenate the tree to get it to a very healthy state. And I thought this tree right here really accurately demonstrated why this is so necessary for even trees that are very young like this. This is a tree that a friend of mine rooted for me last year um, in the winter time. So this is now a full year old. And what I had, had happened is I just kind of let it grow. I decided not to really uh, prune it into that main one stem trunk that I really like, that tree style. I let it branch out in all, dif all different directions. And as a result, actually it was quite vigorous and it actually put out a really large root system because of that. It had more branches and more leaves and therefore formed probably a bigger tree. Um, now what is happening right now is that you can tell that the tree from here to here this is where the tree was rooted. This was the original cutting. If I show you even this side of the tree, there's a whole branch here of the original cutting that my friend had used. And this original cutting really isn't all that healthy. No offense to him, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, I'm not complaining or anything. But this portion of the tree right here is really not all that healthy. And you can really tell that on the video because this growth right here, as an example, has pretty wide node spacing, has really healthy growth. There's no damaged wood on here. If I were to take a knife to this, this section of the tree and I were to inspect the bark, take off the bark, inspect the cambium, I would see probably spots and areas of decay, of rot, areas that are damaged. Um, the cambium would not be fully intact. And therefore, this section of the tree would have interrupted nutrient flow. And therefore, the tree would not be as healthy or as vigorous. You would probably see, depending on how severe it was, you would see a lot of fig mosaic virus symptoms. Um, you'd have to feed your trees a lot more. You have to care for your trees a lot more because that, in, that nutrient flow is being interrupted right here. So, you can actually, if you believe it or not, we've already got some suckers that have come up. And these would be really great candidates for the new trunk of the tree. However, pretty low on this tree is already a new shoot that came up that's very vigorous, that's very healthy. And if I were throughout the season, if I were to not touch this tree, and I were to compare the health and the vigor off of these shoots here and this shoot here versus this really nice healthy one that's on a lower point, with less interrupted nutrient flow, this guy would probably be king and probably probably win. Um, so what I'm gonna do actually in this video, if I could find my pruning shears somewhere, uh, here they are. I'm actually going to, instead of use these suckers, I'm gonna use this branch here that formed last year. And I'm gonna make a giant cut right here, right above where this, this new uh, shoot had formed last year. And this is basically going to enable me, as I said, to have a new main trunk of our tree that will then be in my pot of soil 
We can branch out from here. In fact, what I'm gonna do is actually take off the tip. This is gonna allow the tree to branch out now that we remove the apical dominance. We'll branch out from here and this will be the main trunk of the tree for this tree's future. And uh, to show you a close up of what we took off, this is really it right here. All that gnarly, weak looking growth that's probably a bit damaged. If I can get this to focus, guys, I would love it. But there's, an, I guess, an interesting close up there of what this growth looks like. And it's not like this growth up here that formed last year isn't healthy either. You can see. But we do have in this section here pretty close node spacing that isn't really that ideal. We want that, that far node spacing for the base of our tree. And also right in here is just a mess. This is just absolutely a mess. Probably some damage. Wood that we don't want. And now, of course, we're on the right track. I really recommend this, guys. I hope that you'll try it. And this may seem a bit drastic to some of you, but again, it's gonna pay off in the long run. Check us out, guys, on FigBoss. Dot com if you're interested in more fig related information that's our blog also facebook and instagram we'll catch everybody soon take care